All right, let us begin. Uh, Brian drew the low card or the high card, whichever one, so he will kick off our three-minute um, opening statement for each of our candidates. All right, I'd like to say uh, welcome for those of you who have been a part of this neighborhood. Um, welcome to the neighborhood. For those of you who are um, not from this portion of the new ward, I'd like to tell you welcome to the west end of the new ward 14. I'd like to say thank you to Helen Smith, to Gloria Ferris, our greeters, uh, our screeners, and everybody who is involved. I'd like to let you know that uh, my name is Brian Casey. I am a candidate for Cleveland City Council Ward 14. I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Cleveland. I'm from this neighborhood. I've lived in one of two houses. for going on our fourth decade, or as my wife likes to say, 40 years. Um, I have a bachelor's from Bowling Green State University. I started my, um, work, edu my work career as a child care worker at the Cleveland Christian Home. I moved to juvenile court. Uh, then I went on to run the Weed and Seed program um, for the neighborhood. As part of uh, the Weed and Seed coordinator, we were able to uh, reduce crime through community police efforts. We did yearly initiatives through drugs, curfew, and prostitution. Um, we were able to improve the housing stock with the local CDC building and housing, housing court. We took initiative to hold housing courts in the neighborhoods. We held four neighborhood events per year, a neighborhood picnic, a safety fair, a trunk or treat, a toy giveaway. We had every single street within our within our boundaries covered by a block club with at least 45% participation in each block club. Personally, I was the founder and leader of the West End Block Club for 15 years. I'm a former member of Detroit Shoreway. I'm a former member of the City of Cleveland Police, Police Review Board. I'm a family man. I'm married to my wife Dawn for the past going on 17 years now. We have five children, a boy, four girls, one of which is whom is a dis has a disability and Down syndrome which made me get involved with Special Olympics. I'm a Special Olympics and young athlete volunteer. I coach Little League Baseball. It's 2009 Our Lady of Mount Carmel Man of the Year. I've been recognized for outstanding community involvement by the Second District Police Community Relations Committee, the Northwest Deanery Holy Name Society, and Detroit Shoreway Community Development Organization. I want to let you know that I'm not up here running for myself nor against any of the three opponents. I'm up here running to represent each and every one of you sitting in this room today, no matter who you may be. I want to be a I want to collaborate, not only with uh, the city, but I want to be a strong voice at City Hall for you guys. I'm going to talk, it goes longer. Um, again, um, I'll let you know. You'll let me know, great. Again, um, I kind of did it quicker this time than last time. I want to let you know that I'm, you know what, I'm a regular blue collar guy just like the three of you guys. I uh, have, now you gotta stop. <laughs> Good lesson last week, talk faster. Huh? Uh, Brian Cummins. Thank you very much, and I, I do wanna thank all the people involved in organizing uh, the last debate as well as this debate. Um, Quiero decir también bienvenidos a todos que, que, que necesitaba por español. Um, y gracias para la translación también en los servicios. Um, I am the current councilman for Ward 14, um, which does not include this current part of this new area that's going to be part of the new Ward 14. I am, though, uh, have been a councilman for the last seven plus uh, years, almost eight years, and really my background is such that I, first of all, graduated from Golden <coughs> State with a finance degree, business administration, worked at National City Bank for six years, and then my wife and I joined the Peace Corps, actually picked up my Spanish in our work in the Dominican Republic. I was there for three years. I then served as a business trainer for the Peace Corps, both in the Dominican Republic and then Latvia in Eastern Europe, Central Eastern Europe, and then continued to work with the Peace Corps as an administrative director in Russia and in Moldova. So we spent the better part of the 90s um, overseas in the Peace Corps. That's really important in my background in the sense that when I returned, I took over the old Brooklyn Development Corporation, uh, served as a director of that organization for four years, really dealing with very similar grassroots issues that a council member attends to as well. Um, of course, those issues were and still are fairly the same, which is primarily safety, of course, uh, and the safety within our neighborhoods, uh, the response that we have from the police, uh, also the housing issues, which 
had been very difficult over the last five to seven years with the housing crisis and the foreclosure crisis. We also have a very big interest that we hear from people about jobs and economic development in assisting particularly our small businesses, which are really the lifeblood of, of any economy. So we're, we work very closely with small businesses. And in general, I think one of my biggest um, things that I'm proud of is really trying to empower the community. Particularly in the last three and a half years, we developed a new model for community development where we hired the Detroit Shoreway Development Corporation to place a program office for the new Ward 14 back in 2010. And I'll be talking more about that throughout this evening's debate because I think there's a lot of great things that we've been able to accomplish. And a big part of that has been empowering people. With the economy so difficult, um, my office, just myself and my assistant, can only do so much. So we really rely on block clubs and various forms of civic associations to be our eyes and ears in the community to help us make sure what our priorities are and to hold us and the mayor and his departments accountable. Thank you. Ms. Garcia. Good evening. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here today. I want to thank everyone that took time to put this forum together. I want to first and foremost apologize for not attending the last forum. I had a previous engagement, but I am very honored and happy to be here today. Thank you once again for this opportunity. I am the endorsed candidate. I have been endorsed by the Democratic Party. I have also been endorsed by our Honorable Mayor Frank Jackson. I am strongly involved with many of the faith-based organizations here in Cleveland. For the past 18 years, I have worked and I have also volunteered my services on many Hispanic social service agencies. I am a mother of four, and I would like to say that I am proudly a single mother of four children, raised all four kids as I opened and started two businesses from scratch in the social, I mean in the insurance industry. I am currently attending courses and I am six credits away from a business management degree. Many of you may say, well, why is she attending school at this time in her career? I've been a business owner for nine years. I just like to finish what I start. I am a very proud mother of four kids, as I stated. I have a son who just arrived safely from Afghanistan who serves in the United States Marine. And as my son serves our country, I would like to serve our award. I want to state that as a business owner, I have committed to volunteering my services. I have committed to providing as much service as I can to this ward. Although I may not live in this ward, I'd like to address that issue right now because my mother lives in the ward, my children live in the ward, and my grandson lives in the ward. So my pride and joy is in Ward 14. Thank you for your time, and I appreciate the invite. Thank you for not applauding, Mr. Centron. Good evening, uh, residents of Ward 14, and los candidatos and the candidates, uh, Casey, Garcia, and Cummings, and their wives, and my better half, Teresa. I've been in the public eye since the age of 10. At the age of 10, I ran radio stations of the ethnic community in the city of Cleveland, and 93.1, and WZ, which is WZAK, and 106.5. At that early age, I got involved with the issues throughout the city of Cleveland that inspired me to run for public office at the age of 23. I won elections in 1998. In 1998, as a rookie member of council, I became right away the majority leader of city council. As I know so far, War 14 had two majority leaders. My predecessor, Helen Smith, and myself, and we became majority leader, we were successful in bringing major dollars into War 14. I sit in most powerful committees, in the Finance Committee and the Department of HUD, and I was able to watch those dollars to come and enter into our neighborhoods. I was able to continue the development that my predecessor started with Mayor Rose Orkart in Ohio City, 
but also took care of the Clark Fulton area where the Latinos and different ethnic group people live in the Starkar areas. We built houses, we rebuilt houses, we were able to give grants to homeowners, and we continue on for eight solid, strong years. Eight solid, strong years, I made sure that people of different races got represented through my office. When people call my office, you got a call back from my office. You got a call back. I gave the public my cell number. I was on the hour making sure that the issues was taken care of. I was that strong candidate, didn't care if I had to tell the mayor where he needs to stand at as long as I was able to get the dollars into the neighborhood. And I have a track record. And later on, with your Q&A, you're going to hear what I have projected for this coming next four years when I become your member of council. Thank you.